Hi Starseeds, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make vegan jackfruit tacos that are really delicious and will satisfy your cravings, trust me. But before we get into the kitchen, I just wanna say that if you want a really delicious sour cream recipe, vegan sour cream recipe of course, please click on the link above and that'll take you to a really good recipe of mine. So also don't forget to subscribe because you know Greg and I are here doing our best to provide you with very delicious plant-based recipes. So let's get in the kitchen. So what we're going to do is take our can of jackfruit um, and we're just going to strain the water. So we're gonna be using about 520 grams of jackfruit. So you just wanna get rid of all the water which is inside the jar. Make sure all of it is out because we do want the jackfruit to be nice and sort of dried by the end of this cooking process. So we don't want any extra moisture. So you just wanna place it into a plate. Make sure you get everything out. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my second jar of jackfruit. Place it all inside your bowl. Ah, there we go. So what we wanna do now is just pull apart the jackfruit. You can see all these stringy bits. We just wanna pull it apart like this. This is gonna help us to create a nice texture for our pulled jackfruit tacos. I'm actually enjoying this process for some reason. It's just very like meditative right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of these and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. So this is what your jackfruit should look like. And now what we're gonna do is go to the stove so that we can start the cooking process. So the first thing we're doing is adding in about two to three tablespoons of coconut oil. I like cooking with coconut oil. And what we're gonna do is add to that one very large onion or two small onions. So we're just gonna give it a stir and we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes on medium to high heat. We do want our onions to be cooked very, very well. So they should be nice, translucent and soft by the end of the five to seven minutes of cooking time. So it's been seven minutes and our onions are looking pretty good. Now we're gonna add in three uh, cloves of garlic that have been chopped. I would rather use a garlic crusher here, but I don't have one, so I didn't use that. Just give it a good mix. So I've got some spices here. I've got vegan bouillon powder. I've got uh, smoked paprika, and I've also got some cumin. And I'm using a tablespoon of each. So that's going in. So I'm also using a tablespoon of salt. And I know it seems like a lot, but we are gonna be adding in tomato sauce to this. So we need salt. I would prefer you use dried oregano when you're cooking, but I've only got some fresh, uh, fresh oregano on hand, so I'm just gonna place this inside. Just mix it on up. Mmm, smells delicious in here. It really does. I'm going in with 400 grams of chunky tomato sauce. Mix all those beautiful spices together with the tomato sauce. And actually, I'm gonna add a little more tomato sauce. So I'm going in with another 400 grams ah, of chunky tomato sauce, although this can didn't look as chunky as the previous. But anyway, mix it all up, because now we're gonna be adding our jackfruit to this. So I'm adding in a tablespoon of sugar. And now we're gonna place all of our jackfruit bits in here. And just cook it for about 10 minutes. Just give it a nice stir. So what we're gonna be doing after this cooks for about 10 minutes is we're going to be placing it in the oven on some parchment paper um, on a baking tray. And we're going to bake it at high heat so that it can get nice and crispy and just gorgeous. So you can add some chili powder to this, something spicy. What I have on hand is some uh, sriracha sauce. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt in Oop, some sriracha sauce. And I can always add in a little more later on. It's all about tasting as you go. So at this point, you may feel that you need to add in a little bit more salt or a little bit more spice. Totally up to you, you're the chef. You can clearly see that the liquid has reduced quite a bit. And now it's time to place this on a baking tray lined with some parchment paper. 
and into the oven it will go. So I kind of wish I had a bigger baking tray, but I don't. So what you're gonna do is just spread it out. And it's good to have a large baking tray so you can spread it out as thinly as possible. That way it'll become a little more crispy. So we're gonna bake this at 220 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. So while the jackfruit is in the oven, we are going to make the guacamole because you know that you can't really have tacos without guacamole. We're going to be using one red onion for this beautiful guacamole recipe. And we're also going in with a cup of chopped cilantro, the juice of a lemon, some sea salt and black pepper, and finally some chopped avocados. Oh yes, nice and chunky. So what you wanna do is just give it a nice toss. Make sure that the salt and black pepper and lemon juice are evenly distributed. And this is gonna make for a really wonderful topping for our tacos. Greg and I are definitely gonna be fighting over this. <laughs> I should have made a little more. So I know I said that the jackfruit should have been in the oven for 15 minutes, but I actually baked mine for 25 minutes. And again, I just want you to know that if you use a very large baking tray, um, your jackfruit will become crispier and a little drier than mine. But still, it's absolutely delicious, so it doesn't even matter. So now that that's out of the oven, the next thing you have to do is take your tacos. So I've got these ready-made taco shells, and if you look on the back, it just explains that you need to bake this for six minutes at 180 degrees Celsius, which I have done, and here they are. They're looking very delicious. And now all that's left to do really is fill them. So I'm just gonna take some of the jackfruit that we've made and place it inside the shell. Oh yeah. Be careful not to overfill. Or if you want to overfill, you can go ahead and do that. <laughs> Next, we're just gonna grab some vegan cheese that I've grated up and we're gonna place that on top of the jackfruit. And finally, we're gonna top this with our guacamole. I'm just gonna top that like so. And one last sprinkle of cheese. There you go. So if you guys want a great vegan sour cream recipe to go on top of these tacos, you can click on the link above and it'll take you to one of my videos that I've done recently on how to make vegan sour cream and it's so good. So Greg said that the first taco I filled wasn't full enough. So what I'm gonna do now is really fill it up. <laughs> with jackfruit. Mm. Is that good, Greg? It's good. Okay, we're going in with a bit of vegan cheese once again. And lastly, some guacamole. Oh, and I forgot some more grated cheese. Vegan cheese, of course. So how does this look, Starseeds? I think this looks pretty damn delicious. And it's just layers of goodness, and it just goes to show that you don't need to fill your tacos with meat, but instead of this jackfruit alternative. It's really delicious, and the jackfruit is really spiced well with the cumin and the salt and the uh, smoked paprika. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Starseeds, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button because it really does help our channel and it helps us to grow and to be able to provide you with a lot more plant-based recipes. Also, if you haven't subscribed, we really hope you subscribe because we really want you to see all the delicious recipes that we have in store for you. So don't forget to do that. And also, hmm, I guess we'll see you guys next time.